Good evening. I'm your President Barack Obama. Well, actually, I'm not him. I'm the more blunt version of the President. The one that says what needs to be said, but being politically correct is not one of my strong suits. So I come to you tonight with a lot of sheet to get off my chest. The first people that I want to address are UT Party Nut Jobs. You know who you are, the ones that come to rallies with misspelled signs and Glenn Beck and Fox News talking points. The people that insist that I'm a Muslim, the ones that call me a socialist. Yeah, I want to talk to you dumbasses. The first thing I want to know is where was all of this hatred for quote unquote, the government, while my predecessor took us into a war of choice with Iraq, wanted limitless ability to wiretap your phones, actually oversaw the first bailout and stimulus package and took us from one of the biggest surpluses this country has ever had to one of the biggest economic downtons since the Great Depression. Where was your anger then? Hell, I wasn't in office two months before you sons of bitches were out protesting proposals I hadn't even made yet. And oh yeah, I don't know how many times I have to say it or people have to show proof of it. But damn it, I'm an American citizen. And I have a damn birth certificate. How many of you even know where your damn birth certificate is? Secondly, I want to talk to the black people that are saying that I don't do enough for the black community. Since when is having affordable access to health care not helping the black community? When did it become popular to look down on increased funding to the Pell Grant program to see to it that more people have access to a college education? Do black people not need the help to pay for these expensive ass schools where they pay the coaches millions of dollars but can't find the money to increase minority enrollment? Did some of you niggas really expect the ghetto to be turned around overnight? Was my election supposed to get Ray Ray off of the corner slinging crack and weed? Was my election supposed to stop liquor stores from selling loose cigarettes to minors? Let me ask you something. Did you think all you had to do was vote for me and everything was going to be all milk and honey? Like you didn't have to do sheet? What the fuck were you thinking? I'm not God, I don't have a magic wand. What have you done in the neighborhoods to change anything? Have you done any volunteer work? Have you been reading to your kids? Have you been making sure your teen is involved in productive activities and not just hanging out on the block? I mean damn, it's only so much I can do. You already see these assholes have come out and said in public that they want to see me fail. You've already seen these assholes disrespect me on the floor of the Congress, then I got to come back to the crib and hear the same sheet from you niggas and you haven't done anything. And this is why my lips stay dark because I can't stop smoking. Cause I have to hear this bullshit every day. And to you middle of the pack dipshits. The ones that are going to jump ship on me two years in and vote for these tea bag nut jobs. You are going to get everything that is coming to you. You sons of bitches gave Bush eight years to fuck up this country, and expect me to have this bitch up and running on cruise control in less than two. Talk about being delusional. How soon we all forget how bad things were just two years ago. People were losing homes. Millions of people were losing their jobs. The policy of my predecessor saw to it that the jobs that were once American staples were now being shipped overseas. Damn you guys have the attention spans of three year olds. Looking to me as if it's all my fault. I'm digging out of this hole the best I can. And you motherfuckers are turning on me with your Janet Jackson what have you done for me lately attitudes. You people make me sick. So fuck all of you that ain't trying to help. I might not even run next time. Hell, I'm rich, I'll be straight. But when these tea bagging idiots run this country into the ground. Me and my wife Michelle will be in the Bahamas sipping on mimosas. While you are wondering if you have to pay a $75 fee to get the fire department to come to your house to put out a fire. I'm out. Deuces dipshits.